Hi Matrix and welcome to this video where we look at further questions on finance in preparation for your exams brought to you by the answer series. So we continue from part one here with question three. Pause the video to read it through and then give it a try before we go through it together. Hopefully you're in a good habit now of putting the interest rate for the time period in the memory. Then the first step here is to calculate the interest for the first month. We do this by multiplying the value saved in A by the original loan amount. And this comes to 3266,66 dot dot dot. To work out what percentage this is of the monthly payment, we must divide this by the 6500 and then multiply by 100. The answer of 50,26% tells us that just over half of that monthly payment was interest. Question 3.2 is asking us how many months it is going to take to pay off the loan. So the present value of the loan was 280,000 Rand. The monthly payments are 6,500. And because we are being asked how many months, we therefore need to determine the value of N. Now N is deep in this fraction, so work carefully and remember to introduce a log function at this point here. Because our answer for n is 60 comma something, this tells us that there will be 60 payments of 6,500 Rand plus a final smaller payment. Now let's have a look at how to work out what that final payment is. If we think about the loan as a present value and 60 payments of 6,500, these 60 payments would not quite cover it all. We need to therefore find this final payment, let's make it x that will be made in the 61st month. Because we are using the present value formula, we will need to scale this final payment back to the time frame when the loan was taken. In other words, x will need to be scaled back 61 time periods. So solving for x, we see that the final payment would need to be 1317 Rand and 62 cents. Are you ready now to tackle question four? Pause the video and give it a try, reading through the whole question first and then tackling each part one at a time. To start, we use the memory for the monthly interest rate. Then for 4.1, they are asking us to calculate the monthly payments. In other words, it is X we are looking to solve for. Remember the tip of writing a million as times 10 to the power 6. And then payments on a monthly basis for 20 years means there will be 240 payments. And our answer for X, the monthly payments, is 12,404 Rand and 78 cents. The value of the monthly payments is needed in the next part of the question. Remember here to use the rounded off value of X. For 4.2, we are needing to find the outstanding balance two and a half years into paying off their loan. In other words, 30 months in or at the time of their 30th payment. Remember, for outstanding balance, we can choose between two methods depending on the information given. In this case, we have enough information for either option. Here, the future value option, we take the loan amount and compound it forward 30 times and subtract from that the future value annuity of the 30 payments. Or the present value option, making use of the fact that 240 payments with a total number of payments expected, and so this means that 210 payments were still to be made. Remember, there will be a slight difference between the decimal places in the answers because of using the rounded off value for the monthly payments. Okay, so 4.3 tells us that because of the challenges as a result of the health crisis, a payment holiday was offered, and it is asking us to calculate the accrued balance by the end of the 33rd month. We take the answer we got in 4.2 for what is owing on the loan. This will be the last answer on your calculator. And we compound it forward for three months. Here we have shown answers for 4.3 using the answers from both methods. Whichever answer you got is fine and needs to be saved in memory B so that it is available to be used in the next part question. Question 4.4 says that from the 34th month, the family needs to resume their monthly payments and it is asking how many months beyond the original 20 years it will take to pay off the loan. So let's first calculate how many payments need to be made into the future from the 34th month until the loan is paid off. So solving for N using the present value formula, 
The 12,404 Rand and 78 cents is our monthly payments. We calculate it in 4.1. This value here is the outstanding balance we saved in memory B from 4.3. And so we go through the process of solving for N, remembering to introduce the log function again at this point. The answer we get for N, 217,396 dot dot dot, means that another 218 payments are necessary. So now to calculate the number of months beyond the original 20 years, let's see first how many months in total it has been from the start. So 218 plus 33, and that 33 is the 30 plus the 3 months payment holiday, which gives a total of 251 months. This means that it took 11 months beyond the 240 months, the 20 years, to amortize the loan. Well done for working through this final finance video. How did these two questions go? Hopefully you're feeling more confident about finance now. We encourage you to do a couple more examples as you do your final prep and we wish you well in your exam. Check out the video description below for practice questions from our study guides. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from the Answer Series, your key to exam success.